Hello, in this new video about the FreeCAD electromagnetic workbench of Pasteur, we'll see how path object controls uh, the cross section orientation. So, how in the path the cross section of the segments that are composing the path are rotated. Uh, to this task, uh, let's uh, draw on the screen a very simple path and we use the graph workbench for that. Now let's do it in the front uh, in the front view. So set the front view, and of course we need also to set the working plane. For instance, to x uh, z. Okay. Here we can now draw a very simple uh, wire. Uh, we have this net uh, to grid activated that's not uh, needed in general, but for the sake of the example, it's, it's easier. So let's make uh, something to go straight up and bends a bit. And then we go parallel to the x y plane. And once we do that, we can move to the electromagnetic workbench, select the wire, and build the path. Okay, so we have now the path. To see the cross section in a better way, we can change uh, uh, the width or the height of the wire uh, that are composing uh, the, of the segments that are composing the path. For instance, we can change the width to I don't know, zero dot. Uh, Eight. So we will we'll see that by default, since you are not specified any uh, specific orientation of the cross section, the cross section is always just like in the past ten rig, uh, by default uh, made parallel to the uh, x y plane. So for the first segment, it goes straight up. Okay, that's aligned to a very specific direction. That's the x direction. Okay, for the other segments, like this one which is bended, we can we can see that actually the base, so the width of the segment, is anyway aligned to the x y plane. Okay, let's change the, the working plane so we can see it a bit better maybe. Uh, so with the working plane is one. Okay, so here we have the reference of the x y plane, and you may see that the uh, the bottom of this segment. In cross section, this, this line, actually this edge, is aligned to the x y plane, and the same for the next one. Okay, so the three segments have this characteristic uh, aligned in this sense. Uh, if you want them to, to be uh, in a specific direction or more graceful oriented, we can act actually on the WW parameter here. So let's, for instance, uh, want the same orientation for the first segment, but the other one to, to follow this one. So this is along the x direction. So in here we have a vector that's actually aligned to the width direction of the first segment. So if you change this one to one, okay, you will see the other will align accordingly. So this one has been uh, specified to have the same orientation, but the other one we just change the orientation according to the angle between the different segments that are composing the path. Then of course we can also rotate the segment if we want to be bend at 45 degrees. So let's make it one and one as a vector. Okay, you see they will bend. Okay, and they will follow accordingly. And also if you export uh, this one, so let's make uh, let's switch to the electromagnetic workbench, uh, add the simulation here, and then we can export. Let's say our usual file pastel is into the file. We can overwrite, and we can see the Fast model. If we change the fast model, we see that actually we have the same initial. Uh, we're inside the same. Uh, okay, we have the same orientation here. So you'll see that with respect to the x y plane, we have the segment which is bended this way. If we don't do anything, okay, so we revert to uh, the WW parameter, which is 00, zero which is actually saying we're not defining any orientation, and export the file again. Okay, overwrite, open test model. Okay. Again, we'll see that in this case the orientation is actually the same. If we inspect the segments here, you'll see that for the segments, the no orientation specified for the cross section. And so that's the default for past end. Okay, thank you for watching the video. See you soon uh, with the other uh, 
demos amount, and economic department. 